Hello! I'm going to show you how to put flakes on your cup using the tacket method. So to put the tacket all over the cup, make sure you go over smooth, smooth it out, yada yada, fast forward. I go over it about two times before um, being done, make sure it's fully covered and dried. So let me put my stuff away. I had a cup already prepped, so I'm going to pull that out and get the flakes out. So here I am using these two flakes um, and I'm going to pour them out on the paper. Spoiler alert, I did not pour enough out and also turn off all circulating air because these little suckers fly. Alright, so I have an e.l.f. contour brush that I use um, and I just start kind of dipping and rubbing. Now, as you'll see, as you kind of hover over the flakes, the static um, pulls them up onto the cup, which kind of helps too. And I just keep doing this over and over and over um, until I have the coverage that I want. It does look cool if you leave some open spots, um, or you can just keep on burnishing and rubbing and dipping and rubbing until you have it completely covered and to your liking. Um, so you can see here, I'm just... Dip rub, dip rub, dip rub, dip rub, yada yada. And we do this for a while. Really not that long. Um, obviously you can tell this video is sped up. And I like to use the two different flakes um, because they give a little extra depth to the cup, which personally I like. You can go ahead and use just one. Um, it's totally a personal preference. Heck, you can use three or four or five if you want. Um, totally up to you. So you can see, using the brush to kind of corral the little flying flakes and drifters back into a pile. Having a little issue there, little suckers. And I'm having an issue there. Apparently one of my dog's hair decided to join the party. He wasn't invited. So, needing more flakes. I think I do this another time after this um, to get it covered. And when you're when you start to wonder how close you are to being done, you can tell that the brush will have a little drag on the tacky spots. So I keep going until when I run my brush over the cup, there are no longer any tacky spots. And if it's just a small spot, you don't want to get more flakes out or you're out, you can just literally like rub the brush onto that spot and it will help kind of fill in that, that gap, that blank. Um, but typically when I do it this way, it's not a big blank. You can see a little black color or a little white depending on your base is. Um, and you just kind of circular motion, rub it in real good. All right, so I'm just about done here. After I get the flakes to my liking, I will seal it with a clear coat um, spray or two, and then I'll start epoxying. So I did one layer of epoxy, the black flowers, two layers of epoxy, and then the purple flowers, and then another two layers, the name and a layer, and it's done. I liked having that, um, that layer between it, so it gave it almost more of a three-dimensional um, look. Here's the other cup that I had already done. And there's the two together. Um, so thank you for uh, listening to my little flight tutorial. Good job, guys.